Now that my sample is placed in the funnel, I will turn on the vacuum. What the vacuum does is it will suck the sample uh, through a, a membrane and into the sink. On the membrane will remain bacteria that could possibly grow in the fecal coliform bacteria. So I turn on the pump. Now it is important to make sure all the water is passed through before removing this top. Also, it is very important not to touch this. Sorry. Not to touch this with your hands, for it will cause uh, contamination to your sample. So the next step is I want to place this membrane into the uh, petri dish. Now, a reminder, this petri dish uh, serves as an appropriate media for the bacteria to grow. So using these forceps, I will place the membrane in the petri dish, but first I have to sterilize it. And by that, I would dip it into methanol, which is a form of alcohol, and place it under flame. Now your forceps will be pretty hot, so I recommend letting them sit for approximately 10 seconds. If you do not, it will burn your membrane and affect the growth of possible fecal, bac fecal coliform bacteria in that spot. So now, I'm carefully placing the membrane inside the petri dish. Last step, I will place this in an incubator upside down for 24 hours at a temperature of approximately 45 degrees. Now tomorrow at around this time I will check this and I will view this grid and I will count the number of blue, col of blue colonies on the grid and, and with that I will plug into an equation and I will come up with a number indicating colony forming units in that amount of sample. And that is how you test for fecal coliform bacteria in a water sample.